Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Sprocket video. Today we are actually going to be jumping into scenarios and we're actually going to go straight into fields because that is where we're going to build a tank, that is where we're going to be building a tank and hopefully destroying the enemy. So, let's get in there and hopefully we can, uh, we can do this. Okie dokie, so it is worth saying that the game has now been fixed so that this bit will actually work now So if we go to the lower section, we can actually raise the height and we can lower the height as well And it does actually work, which is awesome So we're gonna go ahead and extend this up to one meter tall, which is kind of insane That is very very big. We're also gonna make it eight meters long because reasons Bam, there we go. Uh, we're actually gonna make it even taller with this piece, but don't worry about that just yet It'll be fine. Don't you worry. Uh, we're then going to have a severely angled, angled back end, there we go, just like this, and this edge is actually going to come out sideways, there we go. We're then going to do something like this, which is awesome, and to be totally honest with you guys, we're going to do it a tiny bit on the back, there we go. That, to me, makes sense. Yes, alright, cool, that is awesome. That is very, very cool. We'll actually do it a little bit more on the back as well, and quite honestly, we're going to get rid of the... Uh, the thingamabobbies, the fenders. Let's get rid of the fenders. Uh, right, okay. We need to sort this out. I don't know what's going on here, so we'll sort that out first. Uh, right, okay. So, I'm thinking we actually go ahead and bring everything up. So, the height of the idler is going to go all the way up there. Uh, very nice. There we go. Uh, the spacing on the axle. We're not going to do anything with that. Uh, right, so these guys are also going to go all the way up to the top as well. Road wheels? Oh no, wait, that's not it. It's these. It's these that need to come up. There we go. Alright, fantastic. So we'll put those there. And quite honestly, I do need to edit the front of the hull because this don't look right. <laughs> this doesn't look right at all. Okay, right. So if we actually go ahead and extend this up like this and we actually extend this bit up as well, uh, then we can actually send this forwards uh, a little bit like that. That'd be awesome. Uh, and that actually looks pretty good on the back end. However, on this front end... It is looking pretty weird. It's looking pretty chunky and uh, honestly not that good. So we're going to extend this up quite a bit. There we go. We'll do that. And that looks way better. Okay, so now we go back to the tracks. We go to the idler. We'll actually make that way bigger because at the minute it looks weird. So there we go. We'll make it that big and we'll have it right there. Okay, that looks kind of strange to begin with, but it's all right. We'll keep going. Okay, so, 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 the sprocket on the back is going to be a lot bigger as well. Because <laughs> at the minute, that's tiny, so we'll make that huge. There we go. And we'll put that right there. Okay, the road wheels, they're all going to be way bigger as well. There we go, we'll go to about that much. And I kind of want them to be interleavered. There we go. Sorry, interleaved. That's how you say it. Alright, good. So, spacing on the axle, uh, we could go ahead and reduce that. We can reduce the width a little bit, and then they all fit. Okay, perfect. That works. Nice. Okie dokie, so now we're going to move on to the turret. Let's go ahead and move this thing forwards, if we can. So, uh, how do we do this? Turret, there we go. Go ahead and offset it forwards. And honestly, we'll just make it a little bit bigger, but not too much bigger, because realistically, it doesn't have to be that much bigger. So we're actually going to go ahead and extend this up like this. We're going to extend this bit down and backwards. There we go, and... To be honest, that looks okay with me. That actually looks alright. There we go. Good. Yeah. Alright, put the manlet on the front of there. And then we'll actually edit it from there. So, we're going to have one of these. It's going to go right in the center. There we go. That actually looks pretty sick. Actually, no. Get rid of this one. We'll use one of these. Uh, and we'll make it bigger too. Because we can now. There we go. We'll use one of those. Whack it right on there. Okay. Lower it down just a little bit. There we go. And... We're going to angle it if we can, so we're going to angle this bit backwards like this. That looks pretty sick. I like it. That's good. We're going to extend this upwards a little bit as well, so we've got a little bit more room in there, and I think that's pretty good. Okie dokie. So this is what we've got so far. We've got a pretty flat edge on the front. Uh, this is obviously a cheek, and a, a bunch of you guys will complain at me that we shouldn't have a cheek on a heavy tank like this, but that's okay because we're going to roll with it. We are going to roll with it. Uh, right, okay, so with that being said then, let's go ahead and figure it out. We need the gun to actually be a decent gun, okay? I want it to be a hard hitter. It wants to be a very hard hitter. So 120 mil, that seems pretty insane, but there we go. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good so far. We're going to extend the length of it out. Quite a chunk, there we go. 
And we're actually going to go ahead and decrease this. We're going to decrease this. And that should be fine. That barrel is huge. <laughs> that barrel is ginormous, guys. What the heck? So we can have it that long if we want to. We shouldn't. Uh, so we're going to counterweight it a hell of a lot. And we're going to make it smaller. Okay, and we're going to make it even smaller. I want it to be about this big. So, oh wait, because the caliber's gone to, to way too big. Okay, there we go. That's about the right size. Okay, but that isn't. Why is the... What? No. Get rid of this. There we go. Get rid of this. And to me, that looks pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. That'll totally work. Uh, right, okay. We're going to have this on the end. Although, actually, we'll, we'll have this. No, this. I'll have that on the end. That seems pretty good. Uh, and yeah. All right, nice. Okie dokie. So we do actually have a gunner's sight on there, which is amazing. Let's go to crew and we'll add everything else. So the viewer's port is actually going to go down to here. There we go. And we're going to make it relatively large and that'll be fine. Okay. This is an ugly tank, isn't it? It is. It's an ugly tank. We're going to put this guy on the top and it's going to stick out the side just a little bit. There we go. Awesome. And we're going to have an antenna on the other side at the top as well. Bam. There we go. Pretty good. Stowages. Okay, so this is where we, like, always mess up. Or where I always mess up, I should say. We can't put them on the back of this. We can't even put them on the side of this. Uh, so it doesn't really work, but there you go. I'll actually put two of these on the back. There we go. Uh, no, we won't, actually. We'll put this on instead. Oh, there we go. Okay, good. Yeah, that works. Nice. Uh, we'll attach the lights on straight away as well, because we can. We'll put those down there. Pretty good. And we'll put these guys on the very back of the turret, actually. Which is going to be weird, but there you go. Uh, right, okay, logs. So we can add logs to the side if we want to. Do we want to? I don't think so. Uh, we could put them on the back as well, I suppose. If we wanted to do that, but we don't want to do that either. Uh, we're going to use these guys. Here we go. I'm going to check those on both sides, hopefully. Hold on. Does that do both sides? It doesn't even do both sides. What the heck? What the heck and heck? Alright, well, we'll put one on one side, and we'll put the utilities on the other side. So we'll use these guys, right here. We'll put this guy, right next to it. I can't seem to attach it. There we go, very good. And if we can, we'll fit one of these down the side as well. I can't actually put this on. Why can't I put it on? What the heck? What the heck and heck? Alright, that doesn't work. We can't use these. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. All right, cool. Put this on the top because this is always cool. There we go. Very good. We'll whack that in just about there. Okay, that's very cool. We'll put these guys on the side just like this. Only on one side. That's fine. And yeah, I'm actually very pleased with this. That's cool. We'll actually put this in the center up here as well. Maybe not the center, but to the side. Okay, that is looking very, very nice as we stand. That's very cool. Okay, we're going to put these guys on right here. Oh, so we can see and that is perfect too structural we could add one of these we don't need one but we could add one which would look kind of interesting now we're not going to do that we are not going to do that but what we will do is we'll start adding the other things give these guys all the room in the world there we go uh all right perfect go up mobility go to the engine we're going to start on this so uh if we can i want to make this look good so we're going to put these guys on, they're going to be relatively small, and they're going to go on right about there. Okay, so our exhaust gets pumped out and down, that seems pretty good. We're then going to put one of these right in the center at the tippity top. Uh, actually, no, we're not. We're going to put it right here. There we go, very good. And we're going to try and make everything else fit around this. So the fuel tanks, the extra ones, they can actually go here. We'll whack those on like that, that actually looks pretty good indeed. Uh, the normal internal fuel tank can go further forwards. That seems awesome. Uh, and we're actually get rid of a lot of fuel as well. So we'll go with 100 liters. There we go. Good. Firepower, that is all A-OK. -okay. That's all fantastic. Uh, crew, that's all fantastic too. Except we will add some of these uh, for reasons. There we go. We'll attach this right up there. And we'll actually put two of these very big right below them. There we go. Somewhat like this. Bam! There we go. All right, that is looking pretty good. That's looking pretty good indeed. Okay, livery. So we always go with this one because I like it. But we're actually going to go with. Uh, ooh, 
Well, one should we go with today? I actually think we should go with something like this, but try and change it a little bit. So the condition maximum will make it a little bit dirty. We'll have the scaling massive, that's fine. Roughness, quite a lot. Metallic, yeah. Saturation, not very much, but the hue is gonna change. There we go, and the brightness is gonna go down. There we go, that looks pretty sick to me. I like that, that's good. All right, go to decals, there we go, awesome. And realistically, this thing should probably be American. Not gonna lie. I feel like it should be American. But we're gonna go with something else instead. It's gonna be a Polish tank. It is. It's gonna be a Polish tank. Is that the Polish thing? No, this is. I think that's the Polish thing. Okay, very good. Very good indeedy. So we'll attach that to the sides. That is awesome. Uh, and we'll actually have one on the front too. Yeah, we will. We'll have, we'll have one on the front as well. So uh, if we can add it, place an emblem. Here we go. We'll put it right about here. And we'll have it very small. And it'll go like this. Okay, and we'll have that literally right above this guy. Okay, perfect. We are missing quite a lot of stuff on the front. We're like, I don't know, it's wide open, which ain't the best. So we'll attach one of these right about there. Okay, very good. And we'll start working on something else to make this look a little bit better. Because at the minute, it's definitely wide open. And I don't really like it being so wide open, because it's huge. Alright, there we go, we'll do that. And... Uh... No, that doesn't work. I don't know what to put here, to be honest. I don't know what to put here. Let's say it's a Polish tank, and they decided to add little logs to the front of their tanks, so they don't get shot too much. Yeah, sure, we'll roll with that. <laughs> We will roll with that, whatever that means. All right, very good. So I actually think that looks pretty sick at the moment. I really like it. We're going to put one of these on there. Okay, very good. And this tank is actually looking pretty sexy. I like it. Okay, so crew hatches. We will add one crew hatch to the very top. It is going to go right there in the middle so we can actually get out. Uh, actually, it's going to go over to the side a little bit so we can actually open it to get out. There we go. Very good. We're then going to attach another one. Uh, right here underneath the driver's seat, which seems strange, but we're gonna roll with it. I know we shouldn't have them on the front. It is a weak point, obviously, as you guys would say, but we're gonna keep it anyway. Alright, very good. Alright, cool. Keep it as is. I think we're good. We weigh 52 tons, which is a lot. <laughs> which is a lot, but it is light war, so I guess we'll see what happens here. But anyway, armor. We do need armor on the turret. We're gonna make the ring massively armored. There we go. The sides... Uh, only a little bit armored. We're going to go with 80. That's quite armored, actually. We're going to go with 30 on the roof. All right. The front is going to be massively armored. The cheeks, also massively armored. And then the roof, uh, I don't know. We're going to go with 100. Yes, because we are likely to get shot there, so that does make sense. Uh, on the rear, we're going to go with 100 each. There we go. 100. 100. And then the roof is actually going to be 80. No, it's not. It's going to be 75. Okay, good. So I think our weak spot is actually the side at the moment, because it's 80. We're going to go with 100 instead. There we go. All right. Very cool. That is actually awesome. Uh, if we go back to firepower, we go to the gun mount. The manlet armor is going to be 200% as well. Okay. That looks pretty sick. Let's see what this can do. Also, the engine, we're going to have to go with a heavy engine. We're going to make it a 2 liter per, a 2 liter per, which seems good, uh, and we'll be fine. Okay, good. So, how does this work again? I can't remember how this works. 3,600 for maximum. Uh, 1,800 for half. And then 3,600 for maximum as well. There we go. 13.3 horsepower per ton. That seems pretty good. And 17. All right, we'll go with 17. We now weigh 68 um, tons. 68 tons. That's crazy. Uh, all right. We're also going to do this. To lift us up a little bit, and yeah, I guess we'll be good. We will be good, and now we shall fight the battle, I think. Yeah, we're going to fight the battle. Uh, I don't know how well this is going to go. Our gun seems pretty good. Let's go to firepower and have a little look at it. So, the penetration is 186.7. That seems pretty epic, actually. Alright, well, I'm happy with that. Let's, uh, let's make it 69, and we'll go. Alright, we shouldn't put it in the hole. 25. There we go, we should put it in the turret. There we go. Alright, cool. We'll go with 39. Bam. 
All right, no, we won't. We'll go 40. There we go. 69 tons. Awesome. Let's get this thing rolling. Yes. All right, our gun turns way too slowly. <laughs> it turns way too slowly. Can I increase the thingamabobby? Uh, the offset, the traverse gear ratio. I want it to go fast, please. That's exactly what I want. There we go. So hopefully we can actually turn the gun now. At the speed of light. That'd be great. Okay. Okay, we can turn the gun now. That's awesome. Alright, guys, we got this. Also, our speed seems pretty good, too. Are they already shooting? They're already shooting. There's one right there. Let's see if we can hit the target. Alright, ready? Oh, we hit him, but it didn't go through. Okay, right. Let's shoot this one instead. We got five seconds. I'm getting plinked. We're going to get plinked from all sides. Alright, we hit him. We took out his engine. He is still going to continue to shoot me, though. Alright, I'm going to reverse. We're going to get... Oh, we're immobilized already. We've been immobilized already. That's not amazing. Bam! There we go. Right. Bam and the dead is gone. Alright, stop bouncing because it's really hard to shoot. Stop. Stop. Put the handbrake on. There is no handbrake. I need to take that guy out first. He's got the bigger gun. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. This ain't good. This ain't good. Alright, come on. I'm dead. Yeah. That didn't really go to plan. That did not really go to plan. I don't know where we got shot through from, but we need it to be a little bit better. Now, with that being said, if we go to the hull, we can actually lower this down. And we can bring it in a little bit. There we go. Hopefully, this isn't changing too, too much. There we go. We can bring it in a little bit. And we can angle the sides in a little bit. And there we go. It looks a lot better, actually. It looks a lot better like that. It's just because we got so much room in here that, uh, yeah, there's no point in it being so tall. Not really, anyway. Wait! The hull isn't actually as armored as I wanted it to be. It started at like this. That sucks! Alright, the upper at the front is going to be maximum. The midsection, maximum. Uh, the front strip, maximum. The lower section, uh, 100. There we go. And then the sponsor is going to be 150. Okay, right. The sides are going to be pretty hefty as well. 120. Okay, 120 for the lower section as well. Very good. And now we don't weigh 69 tons anymore. So that's fine. Uh, the upper section at the rear. The rear doesn't really matter too much, but we're going to go with 100 for pretty much everything at the, at the back. There we go. The lower section, 100. Just in case they shoot me there. And the sponsor, 100. Okay. I think we're good now. We now weigh 89 tons. We added an extra uh, a lot. <laughs> we added an extra a lot. All right. Also, I should really change these because I always like the look of these ones. So we're going to roll with that. And oh, God, I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. It now means you have to go back and change everything, which sucks. It's super annoying. It's very annoying, actually. I right, put that on there on both sides. There we go. Uh, yeah, I need to change the wheels again. Uh-oh, spaghetti Oh, uh, Alright, okay, so the diameter of the wheels. Uh, not that one, but the road wheels is going to be a lot bigger. And that's fine, I guess. Alright, cool. And then we'll do this. Alright, that looks really strange. It looks way different to what we had before, but it will still work, so we'll keep it. Okay, so since I want to somewhat have a little bit of defense from the enemy... We are going to go forwards, and we are going to go into the dip. All right, and that's going to secure me some armor. Or some, some, uh, yeah, I guess it's it would be armor. Uh, let's leave this here. There we go, so we don't get shot, is what I'm saying. Uh, right, bam. Oh, God, I missed. All right, I can't be missing shots. That is just not, it's just not good. All right, so we need to take out this king. Is it a panther? I think that's a panther. Okay. We'll only take that guy out when he gets closer, but that's fine. Alright, okay. I think he's got the biggest gun out of a lot of them as well, though, so that's an issue. But we'll take this guy out first. Okay, we took out a track, or the engine, so that's good. Uh, there is a tank on my left. I need to watch out for that. And there will be tanks on my right. Okay, right, let's do this guy. Oh, there's two. Okay, I can't take those guys out. My penetration isn't, isn't high enough. Take out the little ones first. The big ones are getting very close, though, so this is an issue. Oh, he can't even kill anything, either. This is a big issue. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, the big ones are getting closer. They're getting closer. All right, take out that guy. Oh my, okay, I keep taking out their engines, but that is not good enough. That guy's tracks are out. This one's getting very close now. I'm gonna shoot that guy instead. I missed, okay. Guys, it's not going well. It's not going well. This guy's actually on me now. That is not amazing. Shoot him right there. Yes, all right, cool. Okay, oh, there's another one. Our armor is not very heavy on the side, so we need to take this guy out. Here we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shoot him. There we go. We're immobilized. They've taken out one of my tracks. Okay, that guy is on fire, so we should be good. Oh, God. I don't like this. I need to take out this guy really badly. Oh, it didn't work. Uh-oh. I can't let him shoot me in the butt. I can't let this happen. Oh, no! Damn it, that's bad. That's really annoying. I wish we could um, I wish we could reload faster. That would be great. But I don't think we can. Hmm. Right, we have more room in there. So I'd say that if we go to the firepower, we make our gun a little bit more deadly by making it a little bit bigger. There we go, 130. Actually, no, 120. But make the pen way better by making it bigger. So, 200 seems pretty good. Yes. There we go. 210. Okay, so whatever we shoot should die. Whatever we shoot should should actually die now. Okay, come on. We got this. Uh, let's just stay all the way back here and we'll shoot it. All right, ready? Three, two, one. You're dead. There we go. All right, cool. We're killing everything now. It's going to be easy peasy. Easy peasy. All right, you're next. You're next, buddy. All right, hold on. Oh, no. Yep, you're next. All right, cool. Our gun is lethal now. Our gun is actually lethal. Okay, that guy up on the hill miles away. You're next, buddy. You're so far away, though. Oh, I took out his track, but that's not good enough. Not really. All right, reverse. We need some sort of mm, def defamation, def <laughs> defamation, uh, defilate, is that what it's called? That is a big tank right there. Oh, it's dead. Oh, we've been immobilized yet again. We're constantly immobilized. Our tracks need to be stronger. I guess if I make the thickness bigger, that would help, but never mind. All right, here we go. You're dead. There we go. We're one-shotting everything, but we do have a problem. <laughs> We're one-shotting everything, but we do have a problem. All right, you're next, buddy. You're next. Stay still. It didn't stay still, and also I missed. I hate that it bounces whenever we lose a track. We are bouncy. We're like, extremely bouncy. Are you two alive? They look pretty dead to me. All right, that one's that one's definitely alive right there. You're alive. All right, now you're not. Good. All right, now we'll focus. Oh, the guy on the left killed me. Okay, my tank ain't the best. It's not the best. We weigh 91 tons, and we are still getting shot in the side and dying to very low calibers. So, what I think I want to do is, with the tracks, we're going to make the thickness a lot thicker. Uh, for reasons of they've got a little bit more armor that way, I would say, which is good. Uh, we'll leave it like that. Okay, we're going back in, and we're going to deal with these guys differently. Okay? So we're going to go all the way over to the left, and we're going to kill the guys on the left, and then we're going to face our armor to the right, and then we'll take out the guys on the right. I think that... Okay, we're already immobilized. We're already immobilized. That is awful. And our armor is really bad to these guys. Nope, start again. Okay, we're just going to stay still. We're going to move forwards, and we're going to shoot them from here, and it'll be fine. Okay? It's going to be fine. Where are the enemy? There they are. Okay, we need to shoot the guys to one side first, really. But never mind. Right, okay. We're gonna shoot this guy. We're gonna shoot this guy. I didn't realize they spawned so far to the left and the right, but they do. You are. Oh, as if you stopped! Oh, God! Okay. Let's take out the guys on the left first. That seems like a better idea. 
Okay, I don't see any on the left. Okay, maybe there isn't any on the left. They're all coming over the hill though. Here we go. Okay, that is a big tank that we just took the tracks off. There is guys on the left. Oh my god, okay. Jeez. Jeez. Okay, come on. Shoot that guy. That guy there. Nice, alright, he's dead. Good, the guys on the left are now coming. There's one right here. We'll shoot him. We'll shoot that guy. And then we'll go to the other side. Okay, reverse back as far as we can. Shoot that guy right there. I missed. Oh my. I can't be missing. This is really bad. Every time I miss, they get another opportunity to murder me. And that's not what we want. I don't want to be murderized. Thank you. Alright. Can I aim now? Yes. Okay, I can't even see the guy now. I can't see anyone. Alright, we're just going to have to shoot that guy. I can't kill him from so far away. I'm going to have to try and not be immobilized. So that I can actually finish the mission as well. Which is going to suck. Alright, shoot this guy. Alright, you're dead. Very good. Uh, the guys on the left and the guys on the right go down like into little little patches where I can't see them. So, we're going to worry about that a little bit. That's okay. That is a big boy. And that is a little boy. There we go. The little boys are just as bad as the big boys. If they actually shoot me in the side. So we need to kill those quickly. That guy right there is next. Here we go. Three seconds. And you're dead. There we go. Right, you're dead. Good. Face back towards the enemy. There we go. Alright, we have taken some hits. Some considerable hits all over my tank. But that's alright. I'm going to try and take out this guy's tracks. There we go. Alright, his tracks are out. Your tracks are out. And then I'm going to shoot him right there. Hopefully that will work. He's got a big gun, so we need to kill him first. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're actually maybe in the side. Okay, I took out his other track. He is now immobilized completely. We're going to shoot these guys over here. Because I don't want to get shot in the side and die is the problem. I missed. I keep missing. It's really bad. It's really, really bad. They're still hitting me. Pretty harshly. Pretty big. Pretty big hits coming in. Okay. I was going to say, I managed to get myself up onto a hill where I died. Okay. Polish heavy tank sucks. <laughs> it's this tank right here. Anyway, right. You know what? Instead of staying back all the time, we're going to charge the enemy. We're actually going to get in there and we're going to kill them. Okay. We're doing this. We're doing this. It's fine. Okay, so who expected us to do this? Not me. I didn't expect us to do this, but it's fine. Don't worry. We'll continue forwards, and we will be uh, in the enemy's lines in no time. All right, we are getting shot in the side. Let's stop and shoot that guy. Okay, it deflected. That sucks. Keep driving. Here we go. Keep driving. We're going to continue. Yep, and now we're going to turn. So all of the enemy are all on that side. It's not quite how it happens, because I think there is still on my left. Still some on my left, but it's fine. All right, shoot that guy. Shoot that guy right there. Bam! You're dead. All right, cool. Next. Come on. I'm going to be strong this time. We are going to be strong, foolish tank. Strong, foolish tank. Come on. You're dead. Yes. Okay, next for the strong, foolish tank. I don't see any enemies. No. There are no enemies. They don't want to face me. That is not a Polish accent, by the way. I'm just putting on a voice. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, spaghetti -os. I feel like we're gonna have issues. I feel like we're gonna have issues, because that guy up there, I can't pin. I can't actually pin that guy's armor, which sucks. Because uh, even though I've got so much penetration on my gun, we still can't pen the armor. Which ain't it. That ain't it. Is that an enemy that we haven't shot yet? Yes, it is. Okay, stop. And fire! Okay, very good. It is happening. Me driving forwards has actually allowed me to uh, fight one at a time. Which is exactly what we need to do when we are in a tank that's better than all of theirs. Yes. Alright, here we go. 
Fall forwards. Stop. Shoot him in the turret, I guess. I missed. Okay. We're gonna charge it. We're gonna charge it. Seems like a very, 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 very extremely, extremely bad idea. But we're gonna go for it anyway. You ready? Charge the enemy! Here we go! Here we go! Oh, it's facing its back to us! Quickly, get over there! And shoot! Okay, I took over its tracks. That's not amazing. We're gonna use it as armor. Alright, get next to it. Okay, it will shoot me and I will shoot it. This is not a good idea. I went through it. It went through it. That is awful. Okay, well I'm facing my front to you and you've got your side to me, so this is perfect. As long as you die. There we go, alright, cool, good. Alright, anyone else for any more? Here we go, oh, you want some. And you're just a little baby tank. You're gonna die. You're gonna die. And you're dead. Alright, cool. Did we win? I feel like I haven't taken on that many tanks. They're all dead, but like we haven't taken on that many, have we? Not really. Okie dokie, let's go ahead and turn around. There is another enemy over here that I've just spotted. Very good. And I think they might be the last one, possibly. So let's get over there and shoot them. There we go. Oh, they're in a big boy tank. I can't aim down. There we go. So to aim down, I had to slam on my brakes. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Good. Now we can aim down enough. We're going to shoot upon this guy. I'm going to try and shoot right about there. Okay, that didn't work. It didn't work, guys. Uh-oh. Is there any more enemies? I feel like there should be. But maybe there isn't. Okay, we're going to continue driving around. And hopefully we're going to get around the back. Before we shoot, but we're not going to. I don't know where that went. I don't know where that went. We're trying to get around the back of the tank so we can just shoot him in his butt. Here we go. This is the, the final opportunity, guys. Final opportunity. This is what we got. Shoot! Victory! Woo! Nice! That's perfect! Okay, so since we actually did manage to take on the mission now, let's go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I want to say if you guys do want to see more Sprocket, then let me know in the comments down below. I do want to play this game now that it has been updated, uh, so that it works again, which is awesome. So, yeah, we'll save this as Polish Heavy Tank, and that will be great. Awesome. It weighs 95 tons, which is amazing, and uh, yeah, we did it. We actually did it. So anyway... Thank you guys very much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.